Next news is out of the USA. Conservative radio host is getting so tired of LGBTQ people wanting acceptance. Oh, no. Poor you. <laughs> yes. She's exhausted, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> we need to quit getting beaten and losing our jobs. We just need to quit getting thrown out of Ubers. Uh, all for <laughs> Kate Daly. She's a radio host and devout Mormon. Um, who says she's very tired of the LGBTQ people getting so much attention for their alleged victimhood. Alleged. Um, so, alleged victim. Alleged. Wow. Okay. So. Yeah. So um, I'm not going to read the entire rant to you guys because it's it's absolutely ridicu ridiculous. But I am going to pull out some points that she's trying to make here. Um, she says that everybody in the LGBT community pretends to be a perpetual victim. Um, and that it's got to stop. She wants to see news reports where LGBT, uh, the LGBT community is actually being victimized, as if she's never heard of the Pulse nightclub um, shooting, or she's never, I don't know, uh, looked on the internet to see other stories of, of people who are legitimately victimized in the LGBTQ community. She wants to see these reports. So if anyone ever wants to contact Kate Daly, um, please, please give her some news because apparently she doesn't see it. Um, she I mean, says, don't go by examples. We actually have data to show homophobia is under rise. We have we data. Do. Yeah. Yes, we do. And, and apparently she's just not seeing it. So she needs to see it. Um, she's saying that no data anywhere backs, backs up, um, LGBT Q community no. being, uh, dis discriminated. We have, recent, we have very uh, recent decades. data that we, we covered the data actually. Remember right. when we said homophobia is increasing among young people as well. But go on. Sorry. Yes. So she needs to see that as well. Um, she says that we need to quit being mad at people who don't want to make us cakes or take uh, photos at our weddings. And we just need to move on. Maybe. Um, well, it, why can't oh. say the same thing to you? Maybe you should like, oh, poor you. You're so tired. Right. Maybe you should move on. <laughs> like, why should we care about your ranting? Uh, but go on, sorry, I keep interrupting you. She says she is not anti-gay. She's just not pro-LGBTQ and that there's a huge difference. She says she has gay friends and always has throughout her life. So that's it, guys. Like, let's even stop. She's definitely in the right here because she has a gay friend. Um, oh, wow. That, that <laughs> what, <do> people... <laughs> This, I have. I'm not racist. I have a black friend. Like, yes. Okay. She just pulled that. Right. She just went there. She's so out of. She's so out of touch. If she okay, <laughs> but but okay. So if 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 I would accept her position if it was true that every gay person thinks that they're the victim because they're gay. Okay. There, but a lot, there are a lot of gay people that are like, you know what, I'm not the victim anymore. I used to be, but I'm not. But I'm still doing activism for the sake of other people that are still the victim, right? I mean, many gay people are still the victim. But many of the pe ones that are not the victims do activism for the sake of the ones that are. That are. I agree that the victimhood narrative gets overplayed by every group that has victims in it. Even in the ex-Muslim movement that I'm in, right? Nobody can deny that ex-Muslims have it the worst compared to many other groups of people, right? Yeah. But there are ex-Muslims out there that are not a victim of anything, right? And they are trying to play that card. It's true. But that will happen with every movement. Every time a group of people are being oppressed, some people that belong to that group that are not being oppressed will try to use a narrative to maybe say, get some attention or something else. Uh, but you cannot, but what she said is every, didn't she say, you read that, right? She said every gay person. Right. Tries to, that's not true. There are, it's I, just. No, it's that's not true. There are many gay people out there that are not victims, but are doing activism for the ones that are. And I could tell you right now, as an ex-Muslim myself, for example, I'm not a victim of anything, Okay. I mean, uh, nobody is taking my rights away, and uh, nobody is oppressing me, um, and I'm I'm doing fine. Um, but there are many ex-Muslims all around the world that are living in fear because they're ex-Muslims, right? So if I do ex-Muslim activism, it's not for my sake. I'm not a victim of anything, okay? 
and many I'm pretty sure many gay people also are living very are not being oppressed but many of them are and you, just because some of them aren't you cannot deny the ones that they are anyways did I Ali did you want to add anything to that no I, I actually do want to add something because there's another layer here mm. um, that I'm not sure if I made outrageously clear or not but Kate Daly here is a Mormon okay and it's what, what makes her even more despicable to me and and how dare her for even opening up her mouth is because of what her religion that she practices so much has done to so many members of the LGBT community mm. so many in their religion okay for for decades I think it wasn't until maybe this year or last year that they're trying to turn this around but if you came out as gay you are excommunicated from your church right all right they were one of the prime um uh, they, this religion is one of the prime com proponents of yeah. uh, gay gay camps, right? Gay conversion yeah. therapy camps. And so uh, how dare her, after everything her church, her wonderful, beautiful church has done to this community, for her to sit here and say she's tired? Fuck her. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. And actually, you're so right, because how could she be so blind to it? Like, you're right, she's Mormon, and that... The, even now, the amount of shaming and shunning, and uh, you know, and the level of you know trauma that people from the Mormon community, the gay people from the Mormon community, have to go to. If you have missed all of that, you you're either lying or you are so blind, you know, like uh, you uh, to to have missed all of that. You know? So right. that's a very good point, Ali. By the way, you swore as well, so now. I'm not because people complain about us swearing. So see, it's not just me; it's Ali as well. But it's fine. By the way, I don't like this. Uh, so Sue is saying I am so tired of people not minding their own business. I don't like that as a comeback to people that say shitty things. Because why should we mind our own business? I, the problem with her is that she her comments are re wrong. But I don't, you know, not that she's not minding her own business. I think people have every, people should mind other people's businesses because we are all connected with each other, right? So I don't like that as a response, uh, as a comeback to anybody. Um, I'm getting, some the second top comment is saying, I'm getting so tired of people who enjoy denying others equal right. Yeah, that's a better top, uh, top comment response. Um... By the way, guys, I have nothing against swearing. I, I think swearing is a very healthy th way to get your emotions out there. The only reason why I'm trying to self-censor is not because people ask, because a lot of people were complaining about us swearing. I'm not giving in to that pressure. The only reason I'm giving in to YouTube, our YouTube master pressure, because they don't like it and they keep, but again, we, we're failing at it because we're trying not to swear uh, and we can't stop, we can't help ourselves. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.